directors. It is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Brendan Crichton. Thank you, Jordan, for that warm introduction. How cool is this? It's, uh, it's an honor to be here today. As Ward 5 counselor, normally I speak in front of groups of 10, maybe 15 people, and we talk about street lights, we talk about trash, we talk about potholes, and uh, I love talking about potholes as much as the next guy, but this is an upgrade today. It's, it's an honor to be here again. Uh, I'd first like to say thank you to, to Principal Constantino, apparently one of the more handsome people here today, also bald and skinny. Uh, thank you for your, for your kind remarks earlier and for, for all your support over the years. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'd also like to thank all the teachers, faculty, coaches, and staff, many of which were, were here when I was a student, some of which I went to school with. You've all had such a big impact on my life, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. While today is a day in which we recognize the class of 2012, I would first like to ask any parent, grandparent, sibling, friend or family member to please rise. Come on, <laughs> don't be shy. It is because of the dedication and commitment of your loved ones here today that this day is possible. I'd like the class of 2012 to join me in a round of applause to say thanks to your family. Thank you. It is with that same spirit that I'd now like to recognize my parents, Kevin and Diane Crichton, who are here today with me. Without your love, support, and guidance over the years, I wouldn't be standing here today. So thank you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> now let's get back to the graduating class. Over the years, I've had the opportunity to see all that the class of 2012 has to offer. I've worked with many of you when I was at the Gregg House and you were just kids. I've had many, met many of you during your participation in political campaigns as well as your community service. I've seen you excel in music, theater, and the arts, as well as on the sports field and court. No matter what ceremony brought me back to classical, whether it be to speak to a class or for Memorial Day service, I've always been impressed by the way in which you hold yourselves. I think I speak for the rest of the alumni here when I say, it has made me proud to be a classical graduate, as well as proud to be from Lynn. I've been advised to keep this brief today, so with that in mind, I've put together five pieces of advice that I would like to give to the class of 2012. Number five, vote. Thank you. May seem self-serving for a politician who works for a politician to be asking you to vote. But in all seriousness, your vote is one of the most effective ways for you to impact the things that you care about most. Everything from the pothole on your street to the student loan interest rates is affected by those we elect to office. For a city of 90,000 people, Lynn doesn't do a very good job with this. We don't nearly have the impact that we should. Roughly half of our population is registered to vote. And in the last general election, less than a quarter of those registered actually showed up to the polls. Lynn Classical has done a great job getting people registered to vote and involved in the, the election process. But as a city, we need to do better. And that's why I look to you, to the class of 2012, to help get more people involved and help Lynn have the impact that it should. So if you're registered to vote, get a friend or family member to vote and show up this fall to the polls. If you're not registered, come see me after the ceremony. I have registration forms in my car. I really do. Number four, read a lot. One of my biggest regrets in high school and college is that I didn't read enough. I just read enough to get by. No matter what your future plans are, going to college, entering the workforce, or joining the military, being well-read and well-informed will only help advance your careers and develop you as a person. Today, we have endless amounts of information at our fingertips. Take advantage of it. 
read newspapers, books, magazines, journals, blogs, poetry, comic books. Read almost anything that doesn't have Kim Kardashian on the cover. <laughs> Number three, <clears throat> don't worry, be happy. I originally was going to sing the whole song. It didn't go so well in dress rehearsals, so I'll spare you. But in all seriousness, don't worry and be happy. Life can get complicated fast. Always remember there is no mistake that can't be fixed, and there is no problem that you can't find the solution to. My father used to tell me, that's the reason why they have erasers on pencils. And I know nobody uses pencils anymore, but it still holds true today. So take a deep breath, think things through, sing Don't Worry, Be Happy by Bobby McFerrin in your head, and everything will be just fine. Number two, find something you love to do and fully commit yourself to it. Some of you may have already found what you love to do. Some of you may not be so sure. It could happen tomorrow, it could happen 10 years from now, but you will find it. Nothing great comes easily. There will always be bumps in the road and times where you feel like quitting. But don't give up on your dreams and you just might surprise yourself. Number one, never forget where you came from. Nobody gets where they are on their own. It takes family, teachers, coaches, and friends. One of the greatest things about the Lynn Classical community is our commitment to giving thanks and to giving back. We recognize those that came before us, those that helped us get here, and we strive to help those that will come after us. Too many people in our generation think that success is defined by making it out of Lynn. If you get out, somehow you've made it. I think that's all wrong. Success isn't when you leave, success is when you come back. And success is when you give back to your friends, family, and community that has given you so much. So never forget where you came from, class of 2012. Thank you. So to the graduates, we expect great things from all of you, but we also expect that you will come back and you'll help your community and help the next generation. Congratulations to the, to the friends, family, and the graduates. Thank you very much. This was great. Thanks, guys.